Hello and welcome to another episode of Meet the Bow. Normally I'd say streamer, but my guest, Solzy, has is well, I'm gonna let her introduce herself because she does all sorts of interesting stuff for the uh the world of community streaming. So take it away. Hi guys, I'm Salty. Um, I am a Twitch streamer, X Mixer streamer, and I also have a YouTube channel, uh, which is devoted to helping new streamers level up their content. So I make a lot of videos on how to stream, basically from A to Z, uh, mm -hmm. how to do various graphical things, all that kind of stuff, everything that you could need really as a streamer. Brilliant. Um, and, and where can we yeah. find you? And what times can you stream? Uh, where can you find me? Twitch, YouTube, Twitter sometimes on instagram if you're really lucky uh <laughs> discord uh everywhere apart from like i don't know yeah pretty much everywhere apart from tiktok because i ain't got time for that <laughs> i ain't got that i ain't got time for that <laughs> i'm too anyway, old for tiktok do the same i'm not same. of the generation <laughs> <laughs> so um you were touching there you were a mixer streamer um so why yes. did you st was well mixer sorry, died apologies. mixer died <laughs> You clearly didn't die, but... Um, no, uh, <laughs> fortunately. Fortunately, so, when Mixer died, the streamers remained alive, which is really <laughs> lucky. So why did you go for Mixer as a starting point? And where did you start in the whole, well, this enterprise into streaming, as it were? Do you want me to do my story again about yes, the please. Xbox? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, okay so... Um, I, oh, it's really hard for me to do it twice. Um, so basically I, I started streaming um, straight from Xbox. So a lot of people, um, they worry about like, before they'll even start streaming, they're like, oh, I need a PC, I need a microphone, I need a this and a that and then mm. the other and a, a brass band in the background and 65 cool. neon lights and all that. Can you imagine? I couldn't fit a brass band in here, man. This is my whole room. <laughs> like, you're, what you're seeing is my whole room. Um, but, like, people think that they need all that, and I was kind of the opposite of that. I think because I wasn't involved in streamer, um, in the streamer community at all when I actually started streaming, mm. I came straight from um, gaming, so straight from specifically Xbox gaming online with friends. Um, I was a really big part of the State of Decay community at the time, and I went straight into Xbox streaming. So um, I just streamed straight from my Xbox with a controller, with a uh, with a PewDiePie. I can never remember the name of the headset. You know, just a standard the Razer headset, headset wasn't it? Razer headset. That was it. Um, yeah, and and my first stream was just doing that, no overlays, no camera, with my friend Dragon. We were just in a party together playing Fallout Four, basically. Um, and um, yeah, it wasn't until kind of later that I actually like joined Twitter and started getting into the streaming community that um, I kind of started to think about setup. Uh, but it's such an overwhelming concept, I think. When so, you first start. where did this passion to helping stream? has come from you mentioned you make youtube videos links in description below folks and up <laughs> one of those sides depending on where it appears um uh so why did that passion for like helping supporting I, i'm i'm not going to say mentoring or coaching because that's more of a professional side of that yeah, sort that's of like interesting a paid area of, yeah i don't i don't do that stuff but um so basically um i had a lot of cool stuff in my channel because i love tech right so i use a bot called mix it up but i'm sure if you've been in my youtube channel you will know a lot of what i mix it up because it's my my favorite thing um and so i did a lot of cool stuff with that i spent a long time when i first started streaming just really setting up lots of cool things for the stream um and then it kind of got to the point where my stream basically um it went through a period where it was just like dead like i just had nobody in there and i was like okay right i really need to make mm. a change because like i i'm just and then i started watching um ashley christ who is actually the lady whose stream coaching program i went through uh okay. through stream coach tv um and she started talking about like uh create a youtube channel and that kind of thing and i was like okay so how can i create a youtube channel that provides value to people mm. and like what do i have that i can do that i can give to people and that was kind of immediately obvious in that it was all all the crazy stuff that I'd made for my stream. So I just started giving stuff away. That's kind of how the channel started. I, I started giving things away from my channel that I'd made. And I still do that now. Um, 
but then it kind of when we moved to twitch it the channel took a little bit of a different turn because mm -hmm. i needed to home in like who my audience were right because um there were so many streamer chicayas it's a really saturated field it really, um, I, didn't, I wouldn't yeah, i wouldn't expect it because i know i know the, the yeah. big ones like you know, um, Heller, Paris Heller yeah. and those Epoch box yeah. and these ones. But I didn't realize there was actually really quite saturated. A, I didn't realize it's that a lot saturated. Of people, a lot of people start and then quit because I think a lot of people think that the only thing that they can do YouTube videos on is streaming if they're a streamer. Ah, I think that right. is like that's kind of a mentality that a lot of people have. Um, so the streamers tend to do two things they make gaming videos or they make streamer home videos. <laughs> Um, but most people don't see it through till the end. Like only the really big ones that you know of are probably the people. There's a few smaller ones that I could recommend, but those are the main ones um, that have still seen it through and been around for years and that kind of thing. Uh, but because my, the, that space was so saturated, I felt like I needed to appeal to a, a niche of that area, yeah. if that makes sense. So instead of appealing to just all streamers, because a lot of the stuff that I've been doing before was more advanced, instead of appealing to just all streamers and really more advanced streamers, I decided to appeal to small new streamers um and that's kind of how my channel kicked off really i did a lot of how-to videos on how to do basic stuff on twitch basically how to stream to twitch was one of my videos that, that's uh, actually quite surprisingly difficult i must admit <laughs> yeah 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 it depends but yeah the, all the bit rates and all that kind of nonsense yeah but like that's that's kind of how i built up my channel for twitch um instead of it being like for mixer because when i was on mixer i could really make whatever i wanted because i was in such a tiny little niche Whereas here on Twitch, it's more important to think about that really small target audience, and that's that's my target audience, brand new streamers. Because um, with your Twitch channel, you also do a series on which I'm sure if people would like to go to go to your Discord to find out, is that you do sort of like a one to one stream view whilst streaming. Yeah, so we go that, how... on Saturday. Uh, Soul Zero reviews your streams. That's um, the you one. can sign up on Shot Call um yeah that's that's the place to sign up but i mean you can join my discord and, and ask me about it from there if you like but um yeah so basically um people book in via shot call we have slots um and then i review their streams we'll spend sort of 30 minutes or so reviewing their streams uh we talk about their socials their branding their graphics everything mm. really it's kind of an a to z sometimes with people as well if their streams pick like if i feel like their stream's like really good and doesn't need a lot of conversation then we'll we'll even talk about their youtube okay. in a little bit more depth um but i'm thinking about doing a separate show on that i'm not really sure um but yeah that that's that's what we do and that's like my favorite stream <laughs> like i like doing that it's my favorite one and people really enjoy it and they get a lot of value out of it, out of it even the people that aren't being reviewed because mm. there's a lot of resource and things that we talk about in there yeah. like, you know like photoshop alternatives and you know, lots of things. There's lots and lots of resource that we talk about. Um, Fantastic. In there, so we'll touch on some of those resources probably in part two when we go through it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about your setup now, if that's okay. Not your okay. physical setup, your PC and all that bits and bobs, but how you would run your stream. Um, so how many monitors do you have? And except this sort, this sort of bits really. I have three monitors, but like one's unnecessary and one's just for me basically mm -hmm. so i feel like i'm you have a toy <laughs> yeah it's 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 like a curved monitor for gaming like that's why i bought it but i end up gaming next door which is really silly <laughs> i end up gaming next door on my laptop which has got a worse graphics card and i have to run everything on low <laughs> it's because my other half is next door you see and you can't sit in it there's no room you have to sit behind me like <laughs> <laughs> in that chair that's come back um but yeah yeah that's uh that's i have three monitors um did you want to go over the other stuff or yeah certainly three monitors which what do you have on each of your monitors and on the right hand is... side i have a flipped monitor so it's got my chat on it yeah. uh the middle monitor is obviously the gaming monitor right and then the left one is for streaming software so like obs or i don't know um go xlr's up there right now <laughs> just edit like i don't really want to be seen because sometimes the middle monitor i'll show you see so yeah okay. and then i have a lumix g7 with a wide angle lens i have a logitech c922 which is my second cam which was the first ever piece of streaming equipment that i ever bought 
um and then i have a pc obviously um and i have a go xlr a short sm7b and two stream decks we talked about this earlier though i have too much stuff like you don't need all this stuff it's not necessary but it's, to be it's a fun streamer. it is fun though if it's a hobby That's... then buy all the stuff if it's not a hobby then don't buy all the stuff yeah buy what you need and not what, uh, <laughs> yeah. and what, what your heart says because um uh, excellent. All right, then. Well, I think that really nicely rounds off part one of this uh, section. So we will, uh, you've provided some wonderful photographs of your setup and your past pictures. So right. we will do a bit of a montage, cue the music and roll with it. those photographs that was wonderful and hopefully it looked quite nice the music i chose which hopefully is free and don't get dmc out the ass so Just we use, touched uh, stream beats <laughs> <laughs> i don't like the music in stream beats <laughs> i like don't some tell. of it some of it's terrible like some of it's really bad there's a few of them that i like when he first brought it out i was like i don't like any of it but yeah he's made some <laughs> made some good ones I'll, I'll yeah say, he's made a I... few um, uh, we'll, I'll have to check it out and see, but um, there are others um, out there. So we shall see. I'll see what I discover. So your passion for coaching, well, stream support has obviously stream gone support. across. Stream support, streaming support goes covered on. Have you had any problems with any of your videos that have come out at all? what do you mean problems with them i'm like, just thinking because uh, no have you had any trolls you know um how do you deal with trolls and all the rest of the, the nasty I don't side of the internet my youtube trolls i don't acknowledge my youtube trolls because i just feel like ah oh, youtube like acknowledging your youtube trolls is like worse than acknowledging your twitch trolls <laughs> like in so many ways like they, there's a lot of trolls like I, I get a lot of comments on my body that is like one of the key things that i get um i i, I don't know if we recorded the bit earlier where i was saying um about the video that i made it was called um are booby streamers still in your views i got some really hateful comments on that but um i wonder uh, why it's, why it's, it's just stupid isn't it because it, you were looking at some very nice you know statistics and analysis yeah, of you know, does it work or men not are like uh, there's 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 a percentage of men like that believe that women do better because they have tits like and that is a belief that is not going to be shaken by any number of statistics that i show people unfortunately that is the conclusion that i came to and at the end of the day i, I mean arguing with that is like banging your head against the brick wall it's just going to make me pissed off like there's no benefit of like they're not going to listen to me because i'm i'm the enemy because i have boobs and so therefore i must be more successful successful you know what I mean? it's stupid, so like, isn't it? so like it's, it's stupid. that's the whole reason i made the video is because of the attitude though like and then people came in there with that attitude i was like okay right well i give up now like, <laughs> i give up with this topic because there is no convincing you guys I've, I've done the best that i can i'm showing you statistically that women do not do better on twitch than men like and it's yeah there's there's just that that's a topic that makes me a little bit angry because it's this it's especially a problem on twitch it didn't used to be as bad on mixer i think it's because there's a community of women on mixer on twitch that are i don't want to say like they are not i don't want to say selling sex is not the right vibe but uh, they, they are they're, they're persona um, yeah, it's not. Persona supports the theory that boobs yeah, sell. They do adult content, right? So they do mm. like content where they might have a lot of cleavage out. They might do an OnlyFans account, you know, and I don't think that's bad. Like, you can do whatever you want. Your brand can be whatever you want it to be. If you're finding that you are making money through OnlyFans, then why would you not do it? Like, there's some yeah, people that sure. have become freaking millionaires through OnlyFans. Like, Trisha Pay says, like, have you seen her OnlyFans? It's insane. She loves it. She freaking loves it. So why not? Like, I'm not judging you if you do that, but I think because of that, um, there's a lot of arrogant guys, really, that think that, you know, because there is a small percentage of women that are, you know, getting the cleavage out and having an OnlyFans account, that every Twitch woman is like that. 
and that's the problem that i have because not all of us are, are like trying to do that and mm. like also just because you do that doesn't mean you're gonna grow faster like some people might grow faster through that but like i'm sure there's quite a lot of competition in that niche too like mm. you're literally yeah. the first person to do it yeah. like it's it's yeah and then so then there's this kind of anger i guess of because you know towards women who are streamers because men some men think they have an easier time and it's just not true like for most of us like maybe it's true for the most attractive women in the room but even even really attractive women like i've i've seen like really attractive women struggle i think it's beyond that at this stage it's not a case of like just because you're attractive you're going to succeed like there's just too much competition for that i was going to say is that the competition that's actually yeah. causing out the more people are streaming the easier it is to get into well, streaming the actual competition that, that, that you need to worry about is like the actual competition is like professional YouTubers and and celebrities. Those are the people that you really should worry about. Not the girl like streamer with like ten viewers. Like that's not your problem. Your problem is like the you know. And it, so you don't really want to see it's a problem either because that's an attitude issue. Like it's not a case of like there's not enough viewers. And and if this guy's got ten k viewers, then I you know those viewers are gone and I don't have any viewers myself now. It, there's enough. <laughs> on switch for everyone like you just gotta find an area that you that you fit into that you can get viewers in and a lot of the time the issue with these people is that they like that that believe these things that they believe that they haven't got enough viewers because someone else is stealing them or because they think that booby streamers are stealing them or, or the guy down the street is stealing them the problem is that they haven't really um looked into their approach to streaming like i was gonna say we're, uh, moving uh, moving on yeah. there that to capturing that point there so it's these are very negative views of the, and mm. completely incorrect as well. Because, so what would you be your uh, tips, really hints, really to say, you know what, you know, I'm, my, I've got five viewers. I've had five viewers of sixteen months now. How do I make yeah. my content better? You need more to make a change. Pardon? If you if if you if, if if in sixteen months you have not increased from five viewers, you need to make a dramatic content change. That right. would be my opinion. But at the same time, like if you're going to do that, you need to be aware that there's a risk of like audience alienation. This is something that a lot of us experience when we move from Mixer to Switch, because when we were on Mixer, like a lot of people were playing really popular games, which they could do because they were big then on Mixer. But when they moved to Twitch, they had to like potentially like switch up their content. Um, and a big issue that we saw was a lot of people's audiences got alienated and left. And that, that can be the problem with audience alienation. So the only way to kind of navigate around that is to do a really slow move um so you really you start to like introduce the new content really slowly and and that kind of thing um but also like a big thing that people are lacking um is that they aren't providing any value and um, oh, because right. everybody um everybody is streaming and and they are providing a safe space for people to gather in uh, and they're playing games together with their community and that kind of thing that's what everybody's doing that's what eight million other people are doing and um, so if you're not providing kind of any value above that then you're going to struggle and not everyone's going to be like really funny or really attractive and even being really attractive isn't enough but not everyone's going to have that like mm. stage presence or whatever you, you need to find something that you can give that's really valuable to people um and that's that you really need to kind of look at what you have available to offer really for that um, and then once you have got something really valuable to offer you then need to market it really well mm. because that's an area that i fell down in um because i i didn't really market myself well enough uh, i had a lot of value there but i just <laughs> marketing it so people didn't know about it um so that was like my big problem when i first moved to twitch um but yeah that's um that would be like my advice and and i think be brave like be brave and be don't be afraid to be controversial um because like to get something you've never had you're gonna have to do something that you've never done so if you stay like within your comfort zone you will probably never progress like you probably will never progress like there's a lot of things that i've had to do that are very uncomfortable um that you know i had to learn how to edit i hated that i i fucking hated youtube <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. The first week I was burnt out. The first video I burned myself out after one video. Um, but like it's a case of like just 
persisting i'm not saying just persist past the burnout but like find a schedule that works for you and if it takes you six weeks to edit a video so be it but like next next time i'm guarantee you'll take half that time and then you'll half it again and you'll eventually get to a point where you can do a video you know in a reasonable amount of time and a big problem talking of videos with twitch streamers i think is that nobody's really using very few people are using youtube like, i was gonna say um, that um, you you've you've touched on like youtube and twitch yeah. and streamers not utilizing either side and that's kind of a key when i've watched your um uh reviews of people's streams that seems mm. to be quite a key point so yeah, how's, how's mean... the blending of the of these different social media and platforms actually useful and how to um... useful to them well, there's a lot of people that are have still grown through to Twitch, right? I've spoken to a lot of people that have just grown on Twitch, you know, like Captain on Earth. Like lots of people have grown to like partnership amount of viewers on Twitch without ever touching YouTube. Um, but the problem is that like it's it's just so saturated Twitch that you are when you're live you can be so far down a directory that no one will ever find you <laughs> like that's the problem and then the only way to rectify that is to have more viewers but you're not gonna it's, it's a cycle of self-defeat because like you're not gonna have more viewers because like no one's gonna find you because you're right at the bottom of the directory and there's there's arguments that you should stream niche games right you should stream a niche game you should you know you i've done videos on this where we talk about positioning and categories and things like that but um instead of kind of over analyzing that um a better idea is to is to utilize a platform that is going to promote you regardless of your size um so youtube and um, the algorithm is really designed to um direct content towards people that want to watch that content and there's a whole load of things in the algorithm you know there's you know watch time there's you know click through rate that kind of stuff but you as a small creator can be absorbed into that algorithm and your video can get promoted to people if you the certain steps that you've got to go through you've got to make sure the seo is good the thumbnail is good the title's good everything's got to be clickable um and it's you know also i would say if you or new um definitely feed into the how to area because the how to area is what people are searching for right um, so once you've kind of established all that, then you can produce videos that are going to get seen and people are going to find you through there. And if, if, for example, you're directing people, if you're directing people back to your Twitch, um, then that that's how people get to your Twitch. So I, I grow faster through my YouTube than I do through streaming. That's been a, the case for a while. Like, so like I, I'll get sort of more follows and things like when I'm not live than when I am live. Um, and that's that's the algorithm working for me. That's YouTube working for me. And I've met so many people through YouTube. I mean, there's obviously Twitter as well, but Twitter was never as effective for me as YouTube was. And obviously YouTube's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's what puts people off. It's like, oh, I don't know how to edit. Oh, but like, I don't know how to do anything when I started. Just learn how to do it. Like it's just yeah it's, 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 it's just tough learn. to say that but there's you know the different ways of learning and mm. and you've got to find the content which helps you which understand you also got when it comes to like learning and stuff i find that you've got to find the content which helps you because people learn in different ways they learn either visually through they do. Told, um, through like headphones or whatever and someone got like me fine. learns visually so youtube helps me like mm. youtubers um well, i mean if you're someone that learns visually youtube because it's free is is great it's a great resource yeah. for learning i learned how to edit through youtube if you're using popular software like premiere pro like there are so many tutorials on premiere pro um that are available completely for free um i learned after effects through a course you can use a website like skillshare where you can sign up and like monthly and have mm -hmm. loads of courses or you could use what's the other one that i use udemy uh they have discounts all the time like my after effects course cost me like three quid and it's yeah. really good it's done by like a really big youtuber um and it's really good um and if you're someone that maybe can't manage with just youtube videos maybe consider a course most people will find that they are able to learn through a course um you know that that's the whole point of it really isn't it yeah, yeah. so yeah i um, isn't it it's, it's just funny yeah <laughs> um but yeah that it's just a case of taking the time to learn how to do these things and also um learning as you go because um if you just like think oh yeah i've got to research this for like six months before i can do a video that's again you not 
doing the best that you can because what you could be doing in that time is also getting practical experience through actually editing like and, and it, it at the end of the day i say this to everyone that wants to start a youtube channel your first video is going to be awful you're going to look back on it you're going to hate it that's actually a good thing because it means that your content is developing and improving and if you look at anyone's videos right if you look at pewdiepie's videos right and you order it by oldest he probably deleted some of his oldest his first video shit Everyone's first video is shit. PewDiePie's first video, right? This is the first YouTuber I ever did this with. His video is of him on a phone. Like, like he looks ridiculous. It's like all tanned. Like, <laughs> it's like talking about his day or something. I'm like, that isn't PewDiePie. What are you talking about? But like, if you look at my first video, like I've got my bloody Logitech C922 with some weird color correction on. It sounds like Bender the Robot. Like, it, it, it's, <laughs> I'm saying um every two seconds because I didn't script my content. I've got some terrible jokes in there. Like it's it's just it's just the process, and like at the end of the day, no one's gonna see your first video, so I don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry yeah, about true. It. I, I thought like, we'll now go back and search your very first video, and God, uh, maybe I'll stream the other day. Yeah, I, don't I, think... care. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely kept it off. I've I've um, privatized some of my videos, um, but I purposely kept my uh, first video up. Yeah. yeah, it needs, I, I, it needs to remain. Yeah. Same. Um. So, uh, talking about your stream, let's uh let myself step out the room, and we'll go into your stream, so you can go through your different scenes. This is the bit where I record, right? Yeah, this is the bit where I record. <laughs> okay, so Don't worry, I it's fine. This um like eggplant gif thing and then um, and i was like oh, okay we're gonna make a we're gonna make a channel we're gonna make her a um mixed play thing or channel pay points reward as it is now in my other channel on my twitch channel called um like suggestive eggplant so like um if you press it then you'll get like various like one of various suggestive eggplant gifts and then it just kind of spiraled <laughs> And then everything became about eggplants and some people hate it but other people find it really funny like some people are really that. offended i love it like, i love i love this i love the, the hook i love how people do that in streams in general where they have a like a hook which they don't realize like you've got the eggplant um captain has got beer Stephen yeah. kill he uses hats you know as major part I mean, of his I, I know i'm aware of it like i <laughs> actually quite aware of it i'm pretty self-aware with these things because i know that obviously it's controversial because people think it's like a penis and and that kind of thing and that's kind of the point <laughs> that's kind of the point though though because like i like, was like oh do you, you know that's a penis right i was like yeah i'm fully aware of that and sometimes yeah. I, I joke and say that i don't know like oh it's just an eggplant what are you talking about mate? No, it's very tasty like, in a, ca in a casserole things. what are you talking about you know it's my favorite thing to do is just confuse people like oh, you know that's what are you talking about penises i'm like no i'm talking about vegetables what are you talking about you come in here being rude talking about penises in my channel <laughs> but you know what i mean like that's the thing and we also have this thing in my channel called big dick energy which kind of links in with it which is like we have like a thing where you do be exclamation mark bde and then it comes up with like a random amount of big dick energy and yeah the tier three emote is 100 percent bde and all that kind of stuff um but yeah it's, it's kind of i guess adult content but not really because it's all like um and especially on like this scene it's all um it's all cartoonized you see i have an artist um i work with who makes everything look really really pretty oh and it's just auto changed us to the intermission because it does that uh automatic street, uh, scene <laughs> switcher basically um i can put my other camera on though so i can come is it gonna work yeah it is it's a oh, funny wow. angle there uh so yeah that's my logitech t922 which is the first piece of stream equipment that i ever bought in my life um so yeah i need to look at the camera again because i forgot i was on camera so yeah this is like my favorite scene that um i use a lot for just chatting i was gonna say it's just chatting isn't it yeah 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 just chatting and i've got my cheer champions so the people that have cheered the most in my chat uh this this little screen on the bottom switches between whatever you like basically so that's the left monitor that's the mid monitor that's the second cam uh, and i also have droid cam as well i made a video on this recently but i haven't got that set up so i can't really show you so if i wanted to like move my phone around and like ah yes you, i've heard yeah I've, yeah i have droid seen that really good. it's quite cool actually i've wanted to try and do that when i've done do, yeah um, it's so easy modeling. it costs a fiver for like the full um full package it's like um so get it full screen but it's yeah it's real good um and so yeah, description this is, below folks <laughs> yeah this is the scene that i spend the most time on um i also have this scene which is like my um oh hang on he needs something on there that's not no now we've got endless 
uh, yeah, I'll just gotta leave Photoshop up for now. So uh, yeah, this is my gaming scene, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, so like if we're gaming, um, a uh, little camera, um, back sub goal, I customized that was a, I customized that HTML. I've got Stream King in there as well. Um, and the uh, bottom bar is by um. I forget his name constantly. Sam Woodall. Um, yeah, I really like the bottom bar. It's, it shows all like the different tips and followers, and it'll do like a hype train as well on screen. Um, so, yosh, that's I don't I don't have lots and lots of scenes. No, you've got, do, it's very do, hard I, down compared to others. I must admit. So, what would be your like top three? scenes for a well, budding youtuber i was saying what would be the you know for the a library streamer or a youtuber uh, um, for a... streamer because we're streaming at the moment <laughs> a brain, YouTuber, brain folk. you don't really need scenes no, like no, my, my youtube scene i'll show you what my youtube scenes are this which is like literally just the camera Mm -hmm. And then this, which is literally, well, this has a, a skinny cam in it. Uh, when I do stream review, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this skinny cam into my stream, but also put like the hood in it as well uh, yeah. so that you can see. Because um, what it is a stream review is um, I'm constantly with that other camera that we saw earlier. I'm constantly like overlapping people's <laughs> streams. Ah, so like, this see, one, yeah. I'm too big, basically. So I want to I want to kind of do something like we had with um the other one to um yeah to make a, basically a skinny cam um just for that one so that people can actually see everything i mean i have a few like effect scenes i have this raid scene um but once when i'm actually raided it'll it'll do like an emote explosion as well it shows the person that raided me uh welcome raiders that automatically triggers uh brb screen this ah I just noticed, guys. So I just noticed. Yes. I'm recording some of this, so I'm capturing. I've. I am. I. I started late, but. Not, not much of an issue. As well, so like the the Xbox scene, um, and one thing um, that's pretty cool about this Xbox scene that's a, a trick that you can do. So um, if we put us on like intermission, I use the stream deck for this, um, and then put us on here. Hopefully. Well, I could not be a poop because last time I tried to show someone this it didn't work yeah so it like fades in um mm. and that's yeah it's, it's basically the trick is to have like two different scenes basically and it'll let you uh let you fade in um but yeah I have some like silly scenes like uh I don't know like night vision uh <laughs> triggered uh so sad um Santa but this is like from Christmas Ho, ho, ho. I'm so over that scene. Everyone's been spamming it throughout Christmas. I'm so over it right now. I just can't even. Uh, we also have like a lot of stuff that works like via the bot, basically. So um, like channel points, rewards. I'm just trying to think. Have I actually got my Twitch up so I can show you? Uh, if I go to my chat. So I've got like one where you can like punch me in the face. Um... Buh, 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 buh. So twitch.tv, where is, I'm in my dashboard, that's why you can't see it. Come on now. There. My keyboard working? Uh, so see, I need to actually be in my chat though. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I've got like, instead of all the boring ones, we've got things like Speedo Song. So as his laugh is weird, that's gonna pull up like um <laughs> that's me laughing. I have a weird laugh. I never knew that until I started streaming. <laughs> uh and then you can update your stream king from there. You can like you can like there's a rip one which you can't see on this scene apparently, so I probably need to fix that. Um and then what else have we got? Shoot me in the face. Oh, it's oh I can only redeem that during a stream. Okay. okay. Uh okay yeah let me show you that i can just do a playthrough in the bot though um overlay widgets channel points I'm trying to do anything um 
yeah like so that it does yeah just shoots me in the face like <laughs> and then puts me back to that scene uh yeah this is a punch one that punches me in the face so what what um, program do you say you use for those sort of things i, I use mix it up bar uh there's two ways of doing this really you can either use mix it up bar or you can use something called lorian board and both of them have their benefits um i i use mix it up bar since i was on mixer so i would use mixer up but because i can tell you it's got everything in it uh lorian board looks pretty good there's a few things that look uh, if you've heard of a streamer called naughty he's like kind of new on the scene but he mm. just did a video with harris heller um but when i was researching videos on channel points because i was going to do a video on channel points you see um automated channel points because it wasn't something that i even knew was a thing on twitch i actually found nutty's video um because when i make a video i research what else is there um so um yeah i found nutty's video and he um he basically used something called lorian board but i prefer mix it up because i think it has more in it mm. he uh, th there is things that you can do in lorian board that you can't do and mix it up like um you can't um hide and unhide like filters or mix it up yet but hopefully they've told me it's coming like the dev team are great on mix it up they're really really good so um yeah if you want something you can pretty much ask for it and they might let you have it you never know um but yeah a lot of the stuff i've got in here is like stuff that i've made so made cheer champions i customized the html for that i made the sub goal uh, well i customized the sub goal html that was via mix it up i made this widget from scratch but the overlay itself um had made for me a really long time ago it's a really old overlay at this point um but yeah and then the there's um, a lot of resources we can pull in for that isn't it bringing in different artists in and different people to make overlays and etc this was back when i had more money as well like you know i used to like just spend as much as i wanted to <laughs> basically but this overlay i really like and i don't think i'm going to change it for a very long time like no, i don't think that i will change it and the, the things that i have you know that i could change is like sections like to the left like the cheer champions and this little area here are all separate so i can change up widgets and things without needing to be contacting any designers um but this scene here is um yeah this is just basically like you could make this yourself for free like this is just made using various online free resources and widgets that i made myself um i feel like a gaming scene it uh, needs to be really simple um mm. i don't think that you especially with all the fancy channel points rewards that i've got going on like i don't think that you want a gaming scene that is um over the top because it's going to draw attention away from the game and you really so yeah, i don't really do much gaming on twitch anymore but like that's yeah that's that's cool. like the main focus really wow, so. looks, looks pretty impressive so and i think that's a good place to try and bring me back out the room and uh, we can do the wash up and we're back in the room thank you very much for showing for your streams and going through it's sort of hints and tips and etc so we're on the the final part of the conversation now the interview um so where do you see your well content going to be honest because you're on so many different things i can't just call you a streamer Where's where's your avenue of direction? So basically, uh, 2021 is going to be the year of focusing on YouTube. Uh, okay. Not, like, and less on Twitch. So uh, the reason for that is that um, I feel like my YouTube has grown very nicely uh, as far as YouTube channel growth mm -hmm. goes um, over the past um about six months basically since i got made redundant and i started doing weekly videos um and i think it's been um a journey when it comes to editing and i've gotten a lot better and quicker and things with that um because i've had the time basically um so i'm going to be probably going back into part-time work at some point this year um obviously with covid who knows um yeah, but well. yeah the, the main focus is going to be my uh, youtube um and i also so basically what that means for my streams is i'm going to stream a little bit less um so yeah i, I want to be getting more content uploaded we're very close to partnership from the perspective of like um of subs on youtube so we just need to focus on that watch time and basically the only way to get that watch time is to make more content um so i i want to start um trying to link in my twitch and my youtube a little bit better um i see a lot of people do this successfully like people like devin nash um, and harris heller that do like talk show type content 
and um, they're able to just kind of edit that down. Um, and basically, what I want to do is uh, I want to start a podcast as well as my else ah, I want okay. to do this year. Excellent. But I'm kind of announcing it next uh, tomorrow. Probably I've done the video, but I haven't edited it yet. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hopefully looking for a co-host for a podcast. Uh, I want to do it every Friday, um, and I want to do I want to do things like interview streamers, but I I want it to have a really casual vibe um so it's not too kind of strict and that kind of thing i want it to you know like where we you find out all the stories and that kind of stuff but um yeah i want to definitely start a podcast um and i also probably want to make stream review into a podcast too uh because we're already okay. streaming it in the podcasting category and i also want to be kind of uploading both of those to youtube um as well so that we can kind of focus on some longer content and a little bit less edited content so this is going to be like in addition to the weekly videos that i already do um but it's really going to be everything's going to be focused back in towards the youtube um rather than the other way around which it's been for a while which is trying to build the stream via the youtube using, using, like, so almost yeah. the you i'm um, sorry almost the streaming part sorry the twitch part i'll get it right in a minute the twitch part mm -hmm. is the main part is going to be the youtube side and then the twitch part is going to be fed in feed, feeding to the youtube yeah, rather than at the also, moment it's the other way around yeah, yeah but also into a podcast because i think it can the great thing about a podcast is like um it's the two like people can listen to it for a really long time and that is what a stream is it's a very long like it's a very long period of time right <laughs> it's uh, and it's as long as you're doing something that's not just sitting playing a game that's not visual that's um you know that you're talking constantly that kind of thing and i have found in the past um few months that i've been doing stream with you that i really my, my place is not in gaming it is in talk shows like that's that's what okay. we're moving into so i'm not really going to be gaming anymore on twitch and that's probably going to disappoint a few people but i think you've got to make These brave moves yes uh otherwise you will not move forward and and really since i started merging together my youtube and my twitch it's felt much better like my content has felt uh more well-rounded it mm. was really very much like my youtube and the twitch were two very separate things and that was partly an issue of being a mixer because like it wasn't really possible to do um talk shows and things unless you already had a massive audience who just show up for anything like it wasn't really possible to just grow through talk shows or through chat chatting or anything like that you had to be playing a game and that was where the real divide was in my content whereas when i came to twitch um i was able to do just chat and i was able to do talk shows and you know i think that we're kind of successful enough i guess in the talk show category that we can do more of it now um so yeah, it's it's. I it would be nice to step away from the gaming because the gaming for me was very stressful because it was. Um, I I don't know. I when I used to play uh, when I used to stream on mix, I'm getting tired now. When I used to stream on mix, no, no, it's just fine. I, it was just late now, I, so we um, will. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. Um, right. When I used to stream on mixer, I um like i was locked into gta that's where i was locked and people basically wouldn't show unless that was what i was doing yeah. and i had a very young audience which isn't what i wanted um and everyone just wanted to play gta and that was all they wanted from me and if i wasn't doing that they would yeet out of the stream and that's yeah like, I, obvi I've, obviously I've, like yeah. Obviously, that's what audiences are like, right? Like, um, there's going to be a percentage of your audience that are like fans, and they're going to show you for everything. But, um, I can't continue to make content that my heart isn't in, so I ended up just quitting GTA. Um, and then I I went through a stressful period of trying a thousand different games that people just didn't want to watch, didn't want to watch me play, you know. And then it eventually got to the point where I was like, look, I need to like take over my own content. And it yeah. needs to not be about this game because that is not what I am. I'm not, you know, I'm yeah. not a pro gamer. I'm not someone that's particularly good at games. I'm probably not that interesting to watch playing games. And that's why we haven't got the viewership in that when we have in the talk shows. So, yeah, it's, it's just about kind of uh, I've, I've had similar and... feelings with World of Warship Tense while I'm doing these sort of interviews. It's yeah, like the yeah. direction of that game, maybe not where I want to be but i mean i've tried gaming content i i would never say like don't try it like definitely try it um i uh, i i set myself a challenge on youtube i released a gaming video um about gta it was about modded gta and then the next week i released another video and it was about streaming and i said look whichever does better that's what we're doing because at that time after i moved to twitch it was i had lost so much confidence because i would just lost everything right i'd lost my i'd 
basically lost my YouTube as well because I'd just lost all authority. I'd lost my Twitch channel. I'd lost everything. And I was like, fuck, do I keep making streaming videos? Like, do I do that or do I mm. make gaming videos? Um, so I was like, okay, these are the two videos. I've got one on GTA mods and I've got one which is how to stream to um, Twitch from Xbox, right? And I'm going to put them together and whichever does better, that's what we're doing. And the video about GTA got 100 views. The video um, on um, streaming is now at 16,000 and views so that is the direction that we went in like wow sometimes, sometimes <laughs> that's a big difference. That is, sometimes you have to let youtube choose for you and i think that the big thing is that if you're really passionate about something then people can see that in you whereas if you just yeah. can't really be asked which is me and gta mods it's like a thing that i went through and i was into it for like a week like it is it's this <laughs> you know, it, yeah basically i i have a lot of things that i go through that i like for a bit but this is something that i've been doing for like two years and like i can't really see myself doing anything else content wise i mean i'd like to do some behind the scenes stuff don't get me wrong i do want to experiment with content a little bit but i can't see this channel that i'm on right now really turning into much else other than like about streaming and maybe behind the cut behind the scenes vlogs and that kind of stuff so yeah that's that's where i'm at Fantastic. at the moment that's who brilliant. knows where we'll be in a year but you know <laughs> yeah i must say yeah right yeah it's very true but thank you very much for that that was that was excellent and and i'm gonna have to fortunately and i need the, to go and, to yeah, well, we both need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to go play some cyberpunk because otherwise, uh, yeah, I won't get them 200 hours. And you see, I'm at 185 hours. I've got to get them extra 15 hours. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you, Solzy, for turning up. I think it's you've really oh helped God. me out. Oh, my. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it sounds, I, it's very weird. I, I, it's sort of like an interview episode, but I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm running with it. But thank you very much for your time for um, chatting to me for well over two hours now. Oh, gosh, um, yeah. Hopefully we've got enough con. We've got plenty of content to use. You've probably got enough content. I yeah, I have. After so, two hours of filming. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much. And if all links um, in the below where you will find um, her channel with all the information, um, Discord, Twitter, uh, Twitch, YouTube, obviously, and well, I'm maybe podcast I'm soon. And maybe maybe cover soon. soon. So just need to I, find our co-host. And a co-host. Well, I feel like you need a co-host for a podcast because it's such a big thing. Honestly, that's yeah. I'd like to well, do it with someone. Also, but I need to find comments someone. in the description below. Who do you think would be the good podcast? Yeah, who do, you think, who do you think I should Ooh, podcast with? Oh no dear. Anyway, God on knows. that bombshell, not like, not like PewDiePie or someone like that oh, who no. definitely won't oh, collab no, with no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, on that, uh, yeah, definitely not that one. And on that bombshell, it's goodbye from me and goodbye. Did you want me to say something? You didn't say. <laughs> Can you say goodbye, please? Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Like I do. I sometimes do this as well. Okay, okay. we'll both do that. <laughs> I can't from my come from my monitor. There you are. Yeah, that's what. Bye bye. Do on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you or you could say like, if you want to watch another video, like um, you see the recommendation. Like if you want to see more from me, click this video over here. That's why I say click this mystery video over here if you'd like to see more from me over here or over here. That way, it's always this way. It's always the way where my freaking mic is, right? Like for recommended videos, it's there. It's real annoying. <laughs>